Alright, so picture this. You're about to create a game in Unreal Engine 5 and you've got three choices. Use blueprints, go full with C++ and risk brain melt, or big brain mode, mix them both. Naturally, as a total noob, I decided, hey, blueprints are like code, but with shiny blocks, let's go all in. Plus, people said, it's almost like coding, but with a tiny performance hit. And like any reasonable beginner, I thought, how bad can it be? So, what do I try? An inventory system, because why not test the limits of my sanity with a classic developer painful, right? Now, blueprints were fun, for about 5 minutes. As I kept working, more and more blueprint classes popped up. And yeah, I made fancy little functions to keep things tidy. Because we're all about that clean design. But then, it happened. My screen exploded into a million taps. At one point, I swear I was 20 clicks deep into an ocean of notes just trying to find out where I put my brain. I mean, my logic. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I've got a skill issue. Or maybe I'm just too used to good old text. But navigating through a jungle of nodes was like trying to untangle spaghetti with a spoon. Then came the real pain. We were using plastic SCM for version control. Because we apparently enjoy suffering. I was working on the character blueprint, you know, adding some basic input for inventory. Meanwhile, one of our artists was over there adding grass trampoline. Yes, that's a thing. Everything was fine until we both tried merging our branches. Here's the kicker. Since blueprints are packed inside U asset files, merging them is like asking two people to draw on the same canvas. Needless to say, it was impossible. So guess what? No two people should ever work on the same assets at the same time. Unless you want to relieve the merge conflict horror show. By the way, if you know some magic solution or use some sorcery for version control, please hit me up in the comments. Save my sanity. Now, you probably think I hate blueprints. But honestly, blueprints are awesome. It's like coding but with Lego blocks. Who doesn't love Lego? It's super easy to slap things together and even if you don't know what's going on half of the time, it looks like it's working. And that's what really matters, right? Right? The thing is, blueprints are so accessible, even non-programmers can jump in. Like, my cat could probably put together a blueprint for an elevator or something. But here's the catch. Once your game grows, your blueprints will too. And pretty soon you'll try to find your way through a maze of nodes while sobbing softly into your keyboard. Speaking of sobbing, let's talk debugging. Ever try to find debugging blueprints? It's like playing a scavenger's hunt where everything looks the same. I spent hours trying to figure out why my inventory wasn't updating properly after picking an item. I was losing it. But when I rewrote it in C++, boom, fixed in like 10 minutes. Apparently, I had already debugged this before in blueprints, but the code was so much easier to follow that I feel like an absolute genius. In the end, me and the team decided to go big brain mode and use C++ for the major stuff, like movement, inventory, multiplayer, missions, you know, the big ticket items. But blueprints? Oh, we still love them. We'll keep them for environment animations and all the small one-off interactions. Like, do I want to code a button press in C++? Nah, that's blueprint territory. So, if you're thinking about diving into Unreal Engine and debating between blueprints and C++, just know, you will go through pain. You will question your life choices. But in the end, it's all worth it. Maybe. I actually started working on a survival game called Project Rabbit, and during this time I get to experiment more with blueprints. If you wanna stay tuned to the game progress, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Peace out!